Sunday, January 8th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So it's a little later than usual. It's uh, 1 p.m. London, roughly. I'm going to look at the markets and some interesting headlines I saw over the weekend. Uh, first of all, let's see uh, what the markets are doing. Spot gold, 1318, down a dollar and a quarter. Uh, overnight, we we're a bit lower. We got down to 1315. And uh, we've rebounded fairly well uh, this morning in London. Got up to 1322. And uh, we're now at 1318. Silver, the range has been 1710 to 1727. We're now at 1712, down about nine. Uh, the Dow is basically unchanged right now. The Dow futures, 25286. It was up uh, over 100 points earlier, so uh, it has come off the highs of 25389. S&P 500 futures down three and a quarter at 2738, uh, and it was up about seven earlier. Uh, NASDAQ future, NASDAQ 100 future down two, 6646, and it was up at 6670. So we have come off from overnight highs in the futures. Uh, dollar is a bit stronger here uh, against the pound. The pound is down about a quarter of a percent at 135.37. Euro, 119.72, down half a percent, back below 120. And the dollar is basically unchanged here against the yen, 113.04. Crude oil, 61.56. Uh, that's the uh, front month WTI. Um, Headlines that I've seen that are interesting and I go through them fairly quickly and then I want to look at the charts of uh, uh, gold uh, and Bitcoin and talk ab about uh, the cryptocurrencies a little bit. So the two headlines that uh, kind of caught my attention this weekend and it's from Zero Hedge from uh, Sunday. It says global debt hits record $233 trillion dollars up 16 trillion in nine months. It goes on to say, six months later on January 4th, 2018, the IFF has released its latest global debt analysis, which reported that global debt rose to a record 233 trillion at the end of the third quarter of 2017. So between 16 trillion in government debt, 58 trillion in financial, and 68 trillion in non-financial, and 44 trillion in household sectors, uh, and a total of 16 trillion increase in just nine months. So in my opinion, that's quite uh, amazing. It just goes to show that monetary policy, even though the Fed's supposedly becoming hawkish, uh, doing the QT, raising rates, it's still very loose. All the global central banks are still very accommodative. The other headline I saw is to do with Bitcoin. It says, and it came out yesterday as well, buckle up NYSC files for leverage inverse Bitcoin ETFs. So let's look at the uh, technical picture here. First of all, cryptocurrencies, Ethereum of it's doing, been doing really well. We're now at, uh, got up to over 1,200 in the last 24 hours. Right now it's around 1,150. Bitcoin still consolidating. Uh, we're now at 15,350, down about 6%. So uh, let's have a look at the uh, chart of uh, Bitcoin first here. Uh, this is a daily chart. I've got the 50 day, 100 day, and 200 day moving averages. Uh, the 50 day is the blue, uh, the beige one is the 100, and the purple is the 200. And uh, yeah, it looks like uh, that 50 day moving average is holding on right now. It's around 14,000. And uh, it looks like the key support really is around 11 to 12,000. If we break through that level, we could see Bitcoin get, get down to 10,000. Uh, it seems to be holding fairly well here, but we could still see some weakness, in my opinion, in the short term. Longer term, uh, this is a weekly chart. So those are the 50, 100, and 200 week moving averages. We're still very far away. We've gotten overstretched uh, from the uh, moving averages. 
and the formation there on the chart just looks like a, a like a pennant which is usually a consolidation uh, formation in uh, a major trend and it usually resolves itself by a continuation of the trend but uh, I have a feeling Bitcoin could remain a little bit uh, in a range and not as strong as the other uh, cryptocurrencies. So let's have a look at gold. Uh, first, ha let's have a look at the uh, weekly chart of gold. And it's starting to look better. Uh, I've made videos in the last few weeks of, of how we're doing things that we hadn't seen since uh, 2013. So 50 uh, week moving average, the black number, uh, black line is moved uh, just above the 100 and both of them are also above the green which is the 200 week which is something that usually you need in a bull market and that's happening here uh, the chart itself uh, still looking pretty good uh, the high last week was 1325.50 so that's the key level this week on the upside on the downside I'd say 1305 is key support uh, for gold um, now a daily chart for gold and uh, as you can see you know gold has been doing really well since uh, the, around the 12th of December and I, I think we could see a, a bit of consolidation here in gold uh, in the short term in the next few days uh, medium to longer term it still looks quite positive um, so 1325 and 1305 are key levels uh, it could form like a little uh, bull flag or pennant here in gold in the next few days before it resumes its move higher. We'll have to wait and see. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel uh, on YouTube. Also uh, follow me on Steemit. Uh, sign up to Steemit. Uh, I highly recommend it social media uh, platform on the blockchain and you can earn not just for posting material like I do but for commenting um, you might get an upvote and earn, earn steam so uh, that's it then I'll talk to you later take care bye